Okay. Almost there. Just getting ready. We got a doggo in the room. He's in the room. He's he's right here next to me. We got my popcorn. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one. Hey, welcome to my stream. How we doing? Happy Friday. Montana's here. Hey, Montana, what's going on? He's on stream. And uh, I got my popcorn here. It's all ready to go. So got our Cheerios. Hey, Mr. Hot and Ready, welcome on in. Today's flavor is blueberry Cheerios. We got a good chunk of Cheerios left over from yesterday. Mr. Hot and Ready redeemed first redemption. Here we go. All right, Mr. Hot and Ready. We got one, not two, not three, not ten, not a box. Here we go. There it is. Tastes great. Tastes like blueberry. Had a bowl of these this morning. Really good with the milk. You know when you when you eat Cheerios like 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 uh, like chalk like cereal that like that's like chocolate fairy flavored, and you finish eating the cereal, you get to drink the uh, the chocolate milk. Well. You can have blueberry milk at the end, and it tastes really good. It's amazing. Well, welcome on in. So tonight, uh, we're doing, we're continuing the horror games month of sorts. Uh, this time, we're going to be playing Silent Hill 4: The Room for the uh, the Japanese version, by the way. Uh, but don't don't be scared. This game is in English entirely. And the reason why I bought the Japanese version is because the U.S. version is ridiculously expensive now. It's like a hundred bucks now. So this I got for only like a mere $30 and it comes with a really cool mini city, uh, mini CD. I can't talk today. <laughs> Can I pull it out? I want to show, I want to show the camera, show the camera. It comes with this like mini disc. Um, and, uh, it's not like the soundtrack or anything. It's like, it's a radio play and it includes like one track from the game. So it's pretty pretty awesome and uh, yeah we didn't get this in the US some cool uh, insert there and I think you got like the manual and stuff looks like a GameCube disc yeah it's a mini disc um, a CD that only contains like four tracks versus like 10 tracks or 15 tracks but we got mr. doggo in the house mr. Montana he's here um, he smelt that I have popcorn and dogs can't eat popcorn so um, yeah, can't help him out there. Sorry, buddy. So he's just, he's just saying here. So, uh, we'll start up the game. We'll play this. Um, I don't know if we'll play the whole game or not. Maybe we'll, maybe this will be like a two part or three part playthrough. Um, but, uh, I've been, uh, itching to play this all month and I'm finally, you know, it's finally almost towards the end of the month. So I'm going to play this. So Silent Hill 4, The Room. Let's jump right into it. Switch the cover over. The other thing is I hope that the controller I have hooked up is the one that works with, the, with that has the rumble. Because one of my controllers is like not working with the rumble. So got my uh, my salted popcorn, organic. And uh, yeah, ready to start this. Ooh, I got a new follower too. I just realized that. Let me replay that alert. So we got Mr. Raisin Dragon underscore. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate the support. Welcome on in. So that text there is going to say, it says something. I think it says like the images in this game are disturbing. Uh, are disturbing. Keep in mind. That's probably what it says. So Silent Hill, the room. Wait, load game. Hold on. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Oh, it already has my settings saved. Ah, hang on one second, guys. Ah, let me delete the save that's on there. So I want, you, I want to see the, I want to get the, the full effect. Watch the intro and all that stuff. Then we'll figure out how to turn on the, uh, the English mode. All right, come in here. Where's my, where's my save? Silent Hill. So many saves. So when you first boot the game up, it it like uh, it's supposed to play the video, the movie. Oh, 
Um, uh, shit. Uh, hmm, crap. Uh, which one's Silent Hill, the room? <laughs> okay. Weird. Very, very weird. Okay, screw it. Close that. <laughs> and we'll just play it anyway. play PlayStation 2 Konami Yep Images in this game are disturbing, that's what it says. Loading PS2, yep, and then switches over. It's supposed to play an intro. I wonder if I if I just leave the game idle, it'll go to the intro. So I'll just leave that alone. 2004. Ever played this game? Eh, yeah, screw it. The intro is basically like a, a it's basically a like teaser. That's all you really need to know. All right, so we set the Eng uh, language to English. Vibration, vibration feature. Okay, sort of works. I feel it. Rumble. Um, so that's good news. So we'll start up the game. New game. I'll play on easy because I suck at games like this, of course. Two years ago, the Henry Town set Townshend moved into 302 South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. Happened. He began to have a recurring dream. Blah blah. He couldn't leave his room. Uh oh. It's kind of like me. I can't really leave my room. Stay here. Ooh, he gets out. Yeah, fun little fact: if you're after this game and you don't want to spend a hundred bucks and you want to play it on PlayStation Two, get the Japanese version. It's so much cheaper. Of course, you need a Japanese PlayStation Two to get it running, but uh, it's totally worth it covered in blood and rust then of course you could just play it on original Xbox but then again you know what you could get it you actually could get it on gog.com now I think for 10 bucks downloadable <laughs> love how it played like a like stock sound effect of like somebody screaming what's up with my controller I hope I got the good controller not the broken one Let's talk to the uh, TV here. This room, is it really my room? I don't know. It's pretty bloody. Let's see if we could try leaving the room. It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy, my head hurts. Yep. Let's see. Anything in the fridge? Can we go look at the fridge? It smells horrible. I'm afraid to open it up. Yeah, don't open it. What about the stove? Make some tea. Not interested in food at all. My head, it it hurts. Okay. Oh, what's that? It's a face. Creepy. It looks like a face. It does look like a face. Uh, creepy. It looks like the face. It is a face. 
What's this in the photo? It's all fading. I can't see it well. Okay. What about the... Can we, can we go outside? Can we go outside? Oh, the radio. Don't even know what this is. It's a radio. Can we look out the window? Window. I can't get it open. Alright. Well, let's look at the fan. The fan is going off. Oh. Cuts out. Spooky guy coming out of the wall. Konami Computer Entertainment Tokyo presents. Nice. Silent Hill 4, The Room. So this is, that's the, I guess it's the non-vocal version of that song, because that song has the vocals in it, <coughs> as far as I know. Ooh. I guess it was a dream. Uh, let's go use the phone. Let's order a pizza with the phone. Still not working. Creepy, Montana. Very creepy. The cord's cut. The cord's <gasps> the cord's cut, Montana. The cord was cut, but they he was able to make a call. That's so creepy, Montana. I, that creeped me out. It's like the cord's cut. How is that possible? Well, let's look out the window. What's outside? There's a girl. Standing in front of a subway station. Is she gonna go down? She's blocking the stairs. Wonder what. Yeah, nice, everybody's outside, you know. Looks like a pleasant day out there, and this uh, girl's going down. She's about to go down the subway. Alright, cool. I dig it. Alright. 
Let's see. Hotel Ashfield. We got, what is that? What does that say? Restaurant. Something, something restaurant. There's more of that uh, apartment, it looks like. All right. So let's turn around. Let's go back outside. Scary cutscene before. What's that? This chest could hold a lot of stuff. Is there anything in there? It's nothing. I guess this is where we uh, store our inventory. So I think you get like a very limited uh, amount of items you can carry at a time. What's what's over there? Let's take a look. Looks like a scrap for some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Hey, Segatastic. I have a feeling a PS5 will be most consoles. Hardly buying any games for first few years. The game's library. Let's see what the note says. Through the writ. Montana, don't be scared. It's just a video game. It's just a video game. Alright? It's just a video game. It's just a video game. It's alright. My mascot's back. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. I'm not reading that whole entire thing. I'm just going to skip through it. Put the book scrap in your scrapbook, because that's where scraps belong. What's that? Ooh! Nice. Okay, I'm gonna save over that save, because that was back, like, last month when I tested this game out to make sure it worked. Okay, so we save over here. 302. Well, the price is 4060. Won't be mine much. Yeah, I won't be... I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm gonna wait until the PS5 is out. And all the problems are all sorted out and everything, and the game selections are ready to go. Let's see what's is there anything in the fridge. There's a wine bottle. Take this bottle of white wine, of course. What else is in the fridge? There's a chocolate milk in here. Take the chocolate milk. Yeah, I'll take the chocolate milk. Why not? I love choco milk. Worried if they uh, have started making limited, pr limited print stuff early. be uh, interesting if they re they're able to put that out. Ooh, five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. The phone doesn't work, the TV doesn't work, and I can't even get anybody, blah, blah, blah. The world has suddenly turned insane. Joel... Window still shut. Door is chained. Someone's chained the door from the inside. How am I gonna get out of here? Don't go out, Walter. What the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, what is going on? Oh, what happened? I beat Lean Gavin from the next door. Oh man. I hope my luck changes before the party. So I think I'm the only one that notices this. On that wall there's like hands painted on the wall. And the number of hands changes as you go through the game. I think I'm the only one that realizes that. Whoa! That's scary. Hey, it's Montana and the King. Hey, Tenet of Two, what's going on? Welcome on in. Montana, don't be scared. It's only a video game. I got the headphones. What's this? Mom, why don't you? Why doesn't you wake up? Tana wants some popcorn. Hey, Pug, watching horror game with pop. Can't give dogs popcorn, silly. Not giving the, not giving the dogs pop popcorn and chocolate, off limits. I can give him some treats. Is that toxic. Um, no chocolate is yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just never heard of uh, giving popcorn a dog, so I don't want to risk it. So yeah. Let's 
see what's in this room. There's a hole in the room. Hole in the bathroom. Lurkin will begin dinner. Enjoy the, enjoy the jank. Hey, Maestro guy, welcome on in. How you doing? What the hell? How about the Cheerios? Cheerios. They're gluten free, they're oats. Um I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I can out this way. Maybe. Of course there's no one in the bathtub. No one in the bathtub, really. The sewage pipe pipe is broken too. Would you like to pull the part hanging down? Yeah, I'll take it. Got the steel pipe. Cool. Enter the hole. Yeah, let's go through the hole. As far as the creepy part, he crawls through a hole. Go through this hole. Go through the hole. So there is a way to make this segment go by faster. Uh, but I'm going to hold. I'm just gonna hold the button up like this. It's just for uh, the added theatrics. But there is a faster way to going through the hole. I'm just not gonna do it. Oh, he'll he'll bark pretty soon. I'm pretty sure he's been barking all day. So like out of nowhere. What's going on, man? All right. There's a an escalator he's going down. Yep. It's an escalator. Yeah, I don't I don't stream when he's barking. Uh, I I guarantee you if he hears something outside, he will bark. For sure. Especially if it's another DOG. He will bark. Okay, so we come down the escalator and the camera gets a little funky, funkadelic. Equip my uh, steel pipe just in case. Oh, let's talk. Let's walk down. There's a woman over there, but let's let's take a look over here. See if there's anything over here. Can we can we go through there? Door shut. It won't open at all. Door is locked on from the other side. Let's go talk to that girl. Who are you? Ooh, it's the girl from the window. What's your name? Henry. And you? <laughs> this is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Cynthia. Your, your dream. dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway, I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Oh, uh, the popcorn. It's all kernels Sweet. now. Will you help me find it? Hey, when um, that happens when you put popcorn in a microwave, um, doesn't pop through all the way. Baby. But if you add like an extra 20 Maybe. seconds to it, it burns. <laughs> it's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. Ooh, flirty. Creepy. 
creepy subway. Toilet. Wait a minute. I think I'm gonna puke. Creepy. Very creepy. Door just opens up. <gasps> just kidding. I, 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 a jump scare as a kid. I, uh, knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Got like these mutant tiger dog looking things. Tongues. It's creepy. Let's see here. Let's go into the bathroom and see, let's see how she's doing in there. Oh, she's not in the. She's not in the bathroom. That's strange. Tana doesn't like horror games. Oh, what happened here? She's not in the bathroom. Ooh, what was that noise? It just like it was like this creepy noise in the bathroom. Somebody mumbling something. Oh, it's just the it's the mutant dog things. All right. Uh, where could this crazy hole lead to? Enter the hole? Eh, let's not go in the hole just yet. I think we have to do something first. You said the dog? Yeah, the dog's good. Oh crap! crap. All right, time to attack this thing. No. Thought he would bark? Nah. Nah, he can't hear what's going on in the game. What what's going on in the game is oh crap. Crap! What the hell whoa! Noise. Oh, what's going on with my controller here? Circle is the attack, not X. Noise started to scare me. There you go. Done. That's definitely like a cheetah. King Street Line entrance. Uh, King Street Line exit. You need a coin to get into the turnstile. What's oh, over here? Let's see. Let's attack this thing. Attack him! Get out of the way! Right, let's go back into the hole. That's another thing that's strange about this game. The subway, ha the subway station that we're in, has a bathroom in it. Most subway stations I know in, like, the United States, unless it's a train station, subway stations do not have bathrooms. Unless it's a train station, like a, like a central station, subways don't have bathrooms. So I think that this game is sort of inaccurate here, but unless course I guess uh, across the country and I guess uh, maybe other countries 
like Japan, yeah. maybe they maybe they do have bathrooms. What? In the subways. Who knows? Another dream. Another dream. But it seems so real. Doggy to toilet from Montana. Or could it be? I don't He's mean, on the ground now. Inside that woman's dream. He's right. It's right here. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on the bed. Oh, uh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? All right. So let's see here. Could we go out the window? Maybe that girl's soul there. She is not. All right. Let's look around. Look around. Look around. Look around the apartment. Let's see here. Oop. Furniture has been here since I moved in. Huh? That's weird. Somebody moved it. Straighten it? Yeah, let's straighten it. Why not? What's inside? Who could have done it? Who could have done it? What is that? There's a message carved in here. It looks like someone used an ice pick or something. The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to turn the tunnel, managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any further. The hallway, the window, the walls, feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Eileen never noticed. Ooh, who's Eileen? There's a pistol on the ground. What, you want to pick up? Yeah, I'll take it. Pick up the pistol. Hole in the wall. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. It's inside the wall. Ooh, we're spying on that girl. Hmm. That damn broom. Is the broom like right here in front of my eyes? Is that the broom? There oh, there it is. Yep, yep, she found it. At least spying on this girl. There's a there's a giant um giant rabbit, toy rabbit on the bed there. I guess this is her bedroom. Alright, should walk away. Let's see here. Ooh, is the phone ringing? Let's go back to the phone. What's in the phone? Phone's ringing. The cord's cut, though. How could the phone be ringing? Where did <gasps> you go? Where did you go? Hurry, save me. If you need a token, there's one here. Was in a dream. She wants us to save her. All right. It's time to be, um, let's try it. it's time to be the white knight and go save her. Oh, what's that noise? What's that noise? Before we go save her, let's look, out, look outside. Is that coming outside? She, she's out in the hall, sweeping the hallway. Of the apartment. Sweeping the hallway of the apartment. I, I, I could see her, like, preparing for the party. Montana, you want to leave? He wants to leave. Hang on one second. Yeah, yeah, I could see, like, maybe if you're preparing for a party and you want to clean your apartment. I mean, do you clean the hallway of the apartment? What's that noise? Weird. 
I'm like hearing things. All right, so let's see. We'll go into the door, and Montana's crying to get back into my room again. <laughs> Hey, he's crying. He wants to come back in here. All right. Well, while the cutscene's playing, I'm gonna let him in. Hey, Game Vampire 13, what's going on? Montana's... Montana's... <laughs> he was blocking my way to come back. Oh, this is creepy. She's like in stone now. Let's see. Let's talk. Some kind of mannequin. She's got... It's got a coin in its hand. You want to take the coin? Yeah, let's take the coin. You got the Lynch Street line coin. All right. Train to... Okay, cool. So we got the... We got the token... To go into the subway now, so let's uh, let's go there. Still working on the first Silent Hill game. Well, this game, the game, the the Silent Hill games are not related between. I mean, they they sort of are, but this one in partic in particular is not. I mean, there there's like one little reference uh, uh, with one of the main characters in this game with Silent Hill too, but for the most part, like this is. This doesn't take place in Silent Hill, I think. So let's use the. Can you use that there? So lunch Street. I gotta use the the coin to get in there now. I wanna use the coin. I wanna use the coin to get in there. How can I? Can't use that there. You cannot get E flask. Must be a way to get into the. Hold on. I gotta use the coin somehow. King Street exit. King Street entrance. Can't use it there. You cannot get ye flask. How do I get into the freaking thing here? King the Lane Street, Flint Street entrance. Yep, I used the coin. Yep. It's like trying to plug in a USB cable into a USB port. It's like you think you you got the right side and you're you're like trying to jam it in, shove it, and it's like, oh no, you gotta flip it over. And then you, you plug it in and it's not right. Then you flip it over again, you plug it in and it's right. So Whoa, we got more of those creatures coming out of the walls. This is creepy Montana. This is spooky Montana. Got some creepy stuff happen. Oh crap, that's real. Oh crap, that is really creepy. Oh, this is really creepy. Oh crap, dead end? No way. It can't be a dead end. I gotta go fight. I gotta go fight these things. Uh. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> I go straight down here. Please. Please. Oh, she's in there. I gotta go save her. Alright, let's go save her. Can we go through this door here? It's locked on the other side. Can we go this way? We could go in there. All right. Can we can we hit the button? Is there a button? Can I push it. Yeah, let's hit it. Car's door open. All right, that probably opened the door where she was now. Oh, there she is. Oh. All right. Where where the hell did we go? Going here. Shut tight, won't open at all. What down here? 
Uh, do we go in here? No. Okay, if we don't go there, I guess we gotta go down here. That's creepy. Very, very spooky. Spooky, spooky scene there. What about this door here? Do we go through the door? No, we don't. Do we go into this door? Oh crap, that guy's gonna punch me. Alright, we run out of way. Let's see, do we go this way? No, we don't. Do we go this way? No, we don't. Let's see, do we go down here? No, we don't. Let's go up here. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, we gotta go this way. Oh, what's this? What's this? There's a toy box written here that has a thousand yen written on it. It's locked. I can't open it. All right. I guess we need a thousand yen to open that box. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so let's run up here. Anything? Anything at all? Oh, yeah. We could go this way. Anything up here at all? Uh, no. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh crap, I hear them. They're coming for me. We're getting close. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, nice. Looks like we found the exit. Let's see what's over here. Anything? Let's try to go through the door. Shut tight, won't open at all. Okay, what about. Ooh, creepy, 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 creepy creatures. Let's run past them. Let's see. Anything behind this door up ahead? What's inside? Cynthia didn't follow us. Okay, so that's a hold out of here, but we, wanna, we don't want to take the hole. Let's go down the ladder. Ooh, where are we now? We're in a spooky, a spooky subway station now. Go down here. What's down these stairs? It's getting more spooky. We're gonna make a run for it. Kill him! Kill that thing! Even though he did nothing. But just scare the crap out of us. Oh, this. Henry, I found the exit. Turnstile. Okay. okay, what's in here? Anything? Hurry, hurry. Hurry, Henry, hurry! Hurry, Henry! Hurry! What's this? Oh, crap, crap, crap. I hear... I hear escalator. I got the nine iron. We're gonna go play some golf with that nine iron. We go this way. Yeah, fight that, fight that guy. Screw him. All right, we'll run right out of here. See. Oh crap, that guy's gonna kill me. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. Gotta go up the escalator. Nice. I think we just gotta run up the escalator here. Oh crap, no! Can't just run up here either. Ah crap! What a 
equip my gun. Yeah, just equip my gun going up here. Not a problem at all. Shoot these things that are like obviously obviously supposed to be here on the subway level. Oh crap. Yeah. I'm gonna equip my nine iron. It'll all be good. Oh yeah. Attack these guys going up. Nice. We make it up the escalator? Looks like we did. We're up the escalator. What's in here? It's down this hallway here. It's a creepy hallway. Oh, this not sure I mentioned this. Yeah, you beat Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Congratulations, man. How did you beat, uh, I'm just curious, how did you beat Dracula? Did you, like, equip a bunch of, like, health items and just beat him up? Or did you find the shield rod method that I did? That's cool either way. It's a pretty hard boss fight if you don't know about the shield rod. What's this on the ground here? Woman's makeup items, uh-oh. Is it Cynthia? What happened? To oh, no. There's a plate on the door. Remove the plate. You got the temptation placard. It says temptation. <gasps> oh no. They got Cynthia. Are you okay? Just a dream. I think I drank too much last night. One six one two one. I never got to do that special favor for you. I I feel like I'm dying. One six one two one. What does that number mean? Use the Chris, the Chrysogram sword, and the cross for the sub weapon. Got the Chrysogram and was beating bosses very quickly. Nice. Did you defeat Galamoth? That giant guy with the scepter. He's really hard. I think he's harder than Dracula. Well, she didn't make it. All right. Cynthia. Uh oh. Ambulance. Man, what's that noise out there? What's going on out there? Take a look. Beat him, and yes, he is definitely one of the hardest bosses. He's tougher than both Dracula and Death combined. Yep, definitely is. Galamoth is the hardest. 
And then once you discover the shield rod weapon, you can never go back. <laughs> it's fun to try to beat those bosses with, without the shield rod, though. Let's see. Let's see what's out that window. Oh, it's an ambulance and a police car near the subway entrance. Is it Cynthia? Ooh, cause that's that's the subway. I guess they found her at the subway entrance. Did get the shield rod, but don't think you used it. Yeah, there's a trick to using the shield rod. It's like a it's like a special button combo. It's like I think you have to hold the shield and the weapon, and then you have to like do like a, a half circle forward. It. And, you know, sort of like a Hadouken, and that's how you turn it on. But, like, depending on what shield you have equipped uh, has, like, a different effect to it. So if you use the Alucard shield, which is, like, the best shield ever, um, you could use it to kill enemies, like, instantaneously. And they give you HP points for every hit. And it's like... Hurry up and get, get that, that ambulance. Uh-oh. Quit yapping and move her already. What the hell? Uh oh. Wonder if what? Okay. Cool. Alright, we'll save here. Save over number one. Turn from Subway World. Subway World. Let's go spy on our girlfriend. See where she's up to. She's just sitting down in bed. I definitely use the Alucard shield and the Night Shield are my favorites. Yep. We gotta be careful though, because there's another shield called the Alucard shield, which is like a fake shield. It's an imposter. So I guess she got up and she's looking out the window to see what the sirens are. That's, what, that's my guess. Alright, let's see here. Let's look outside. Ooh, there's another note on the ground. Let's pick it up. Scrap of paper. Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what is going on. April 8th. It happens on April 8th. Put Red Diary April 8th in there. Okay, let's look it through the peephole. This kind of reminds me of that episode of the Seinfeld with the reverse peephole. Where uh, Kramer decides to put a peephole in his door that's like reverse so people from the outside could look inside of his apartment. It was the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> he was trying to like look out through the peephole and then the person that was knocking on the door was looking in on him. So it was like, this is the reverse peephole episode best. Alright, so there's a guy, he's cleaning outside. And if you noticed before, uh, the hands on the wall, there's a new hand that got added all the way up to the bottom right, and that's Cynthia. Before Cynthia died, that hand wasn't there. So, the hands have something to do with the number of murders that take place. So, something to keep in mind. So, let's see. Let's go through this door. Well, actually, you know what? Before I go through that hole, let me go to my... Ch Let's go to the toy chest. See if we can put some items away. Because my inventory is looking full. Let's see, what should, what should go in there? Let's put the diary away. What is this? Chocolate milk. Let's keep that there. We need that for something. Pistol bullets. <sighs> Nine iron could break. That can't break uh I'll put the wine bottle away let's keep the gun in there no leave that alone all right so let's go back into the hole I'm gonna equip the steel pipe oh I can't equip the steel pipe 
some home. Uh, let's go through the hole. Hole's getting bigger. Enter the hole. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, open that stupid hole. What's inside the hole? Ooh, we're spooky. We're going through the hole. We're going through the whole hole. Now what? What are your thoughts on the shaft boss fight? Me, I thought it wasn't tough at all. Ah, uh, it's not that tough. But if you play as either Richter or Maria, it is a pretty hard boss fight. Ooh, let's see. Now, he looks like he just woke up in the woods. Dark, creepy woods. Creepy woods. That's creepy. Very, very creepy. Let's see. Let's equip that, yeah, lead pipe. We'll just look around. It's a cliff. I can't go forward from here. Just gonna hit circle. Look around. See if there's anything we can pick up. Doesn't look like much. Looks like we go through the door. It's a little gate. And ooh, creepy. Very, very creepy wolf noise. This looks like there's wolves in town. Maybe some wolves, some dogs. And there's another one of those creepy holes right there. Under the hole? No, I don't want to enter the hole. The hole will just bring me back to the apartment which we don't want just yet okay let's go through this door it says do not enter danger do not enter but what's inside I guess we'll find out soon enough why we cannot enter Ooh, creepy oh creepy 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 these things they're flies I think they could hurt me. Let's pick up the pistol bullets. Yep, let's run out of there. Can I attack these guys? Yes, I could. You gotta attack them. You gotta attack them. You gotta attack them, and then you gotta stomp on them so they don't come back alive I guess they're like flies and bats combined you can call them fly bats I suppose all right it's nothing in this room I guess that's why it says danger do not enter you'll run across those fly bats oh there's more of them four of them gotta run away oh it's all right we'll, we'll take them out come on take them out take both of them out take them both out attack them attack that one there you go let's beat up this guy again all right let's attack that other guy see don't mess with harry townshend Ta town shed or town shed this liquid it reeks so badly it makes my head spin Ooh, I wonder if we're in like some sort of a sewage plant or something that's probably why it smells like shit it's making your head spin there Harry it's probably where we're at it's kind of gross it looks like we're outside now Looks like there's nothing else in this room. Let's go through the gate. Let's see what's inside the gate. Playing as Richter now. Richter moves slower than in Bond of Blood. Um, you could double tap as as Richter. 
I, I don't know if you knew about that. If you double tap, sort of like if you ever played Golden Axe for the Sega Genesis, if you double tap, you run. It's the same mechanic. And it looks like there's a car running. Is there anything in this car? The engine's still running and the driver's seat door is open. Oh, cool. Let's get in the car and we'll drive out of here. It's stopped with the brake pedal and gauge. There's all sorts of lighting, all sorts of things scattered on the seat. Among the trash is a scrap of paper with something written on it. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Oh, this! Oh, we're in Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to the, a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get the real thirsty. Jasper Cain. Jasper Gain. Gain. There's a memo pad in here, too. What's in the memo? Too much. Something about an orphanage. The nosy guide said it. If you bring the dr the dug up key, if you can't go back, put it away somewhere before blah blah. blah. All right. The Jasper's memo pad. Away. Is there anything else in there? No. Nothing else. All right. So I guess we gotta find this Jasper guy. He's probably here as well. I'm sure he's real friendly. Who is that, Jasper? Let's go say hi to him. Why are you Jasper? What's going on, man? So you, you, you came to investigate this, this stone. What stone? Oh, this thing's a stone. There, there was a, another guy here before. A, a real, real nosy guy. guy. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, I was the one, one who found, found it first. Stone first. In the old days. Played all three Golden Axe games. Be the first one trying to do the second game. The yeah, second game is a little tough. If you play the game on easy, it like starts over and says, "Play on a harder difficulty." The mother stone. They're just up up ahead in that that weird building, operating some kind of crazy crazy religious cult, huh? Okay. Kind of gives you the chill, chills, huh? Yeah, this stone is kind of creepy. It's creepy, uh, creepy stone there, guy. Creepy stone, guy. All right, so let's look around. Anything else? This rock is creepy somehow. Well, he just said it was creepy. I believe him. That it is creepy. He's got candles lit. Who lit the candles? Is is it him? I don't know. Alright, so we got a door there. Is there another exit anywhere? Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. It seems like we just got like one entrance and one exit. It seems legit. Seems fair. Oh, so Game Vampire. Um, D, uh, looks like DP got a copy of D in the long box case for PlayStation. I'm gonna go over there tomorrow, see if they still have it. Ooh, crap. What the hell is that? Fucking scared the crap out of me. I mean, not literally, but that was freaking scary. What the hell is this? Oh, we got more of these dog thingies. Let's get them out of here. I don't wanna, I just don't wanna deal with these dog thingies anymore. They're kind of annoying. Get you out of the way. What the hell is this thing upside down? It's like hanging. Hanging from nothing. There we go. Killed him. Let's see. What do we got here? Whoa! Crap. What the fuck is that? It's like a booby trap or something. It's a good thing I didn't go that way. I would have sucked. Would have sucked big time if I went through there. All right, let's go through the door. It's inside the door. Oh, we got more of these puppy dog things. Let's attack them and get them. Out. Oh, we got more of those fly bats thingies. Oh 
Come back, come back, come back. All right, take him out, take him out. Take them all out. Show them all who's boss. Yeah, yeah, they got a number of Saturn and PS1 games they put out too, yeah. A lot of US Saturn games. And there was some Japanese games there they took a picture of. But I'm curious if, like, because sometimes they, what they do is when they say, oh, we just got this game in so-and-so, what they'll, what they'll do is they'll put, like, other games that came in that trade in not in the photo so I'll, I'll, I'll go check them out tomorrow and see if maybe they have anything there that I'm missing and uh, maybe I'll pick up stuff and I'll show it off on tomorrow's variety stream for sure but yeah I'm curious if that copy of D is still there for PlayStation uh, it's, I'm missing that version in particular Silent Hill Smile Support Society Wish House that's the orphanage run by the cult, huh? All right, let's go to the let's go to this cult thing. Can we open the door? Yes, we could. Let's go into the door. All right. Ah, spooky. What's inside here? A little playground. So we got a door there. I think there's multiple doors in this orphanage. Got another door here. Got a second door. It's so two doors. Uh, and then what else? Ugh. We got a third door here. Looks like it goes to a big building. I think there's a fourth door over here. Mm-hmm. Fourth and uh, a fifth door, or fifth to fourth door. And then we got the hole that takes us back to the apartment. Alright, I guess what we'll do is, can we go through this orphanage door? It's locked. Okay, so we can't go that way. Oh, there's writing on the wall. Can we, can we read the writing? Can't read this writing. Also, not sure you saw today's post. Someone traded in a huge lot of NES games. Dude, I saw that. Somebody traded in a copy of Little Samson for the NES. And... A copy of Flintstones, Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. Wonder how much the copy D will be. You're gonna buy. Uh, if it's reasonable, if it's like a hundred bucks, I'm gonna be like, no thanks. If it's like like a forty dollar game or something, maybe. I mean, I already have the game like in English for U. I have the U.S. Saturn version. I have the U.S. 3DO version, and I have two copies of the Saturn Japanese version. I don't have the PlayStation version. Is there any differences between the three games, you may ask? No, not really. The 3DO version has a, a has a title screen that, like... Sh it, it, I, I said this when I was playing D. Ooh. The wolves. Creepy. Very creepy. Uh, the, the 3DO version has a creepy title screen segment that's not present in the other uh, versions. Okay, so that was a little creepy. Let's go through here. Is there any any other creepiness going on in here? Oh, well, that's creepy. <gasps> There's a body floating right there. I'm gonna not go near that body. Cause I'm gonna bet you that is like a... Oh crap, he's chasing after me. I'm gonna run away from that guy. Alright, we got another hole here. Let's go through the door. And then, oh, who the hell are you? Hi, little boy. It's a little boy right here. It's a little boy. What's the little boy gonna do? Hey, hey, little boy. Little boy. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're finally the third, third revelation. revelation. Something's gonna happen. Oh, boy. That nosy guy. Nosy knows. guy? He said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. happen. <laughs> guy's out of his mind. I know. So Contra Force, and I never seen that at DP before. Dragon For Warrior Four is in there. You know, I never got into the Dragon Warrior games. I think I think they're pretty cool. Looks like the person traded and tried a lot of rare games. Yeah. 
Uh, I think he just, like, off this entire collection. And, like, and I guess, like... Instead of, like, selling them on eBay for them individually, I think he just, like, said, F it, I'm taking it to the game store to get it all traded in. Which is, you know, it's a good way to get rid of your collection. Um, if you just want to, like, get, you know, you want to get rid of it, you, you know, don't want to wait around for it to move, you know, you could do that. But, uh, you're not going to get the amount you may, have de may desire... Uh, so I wouldn't recommend doing that for sure. Uh, what does that say? Someone cried some kind of weird rating. Interesting. Okay, so that weird, there's a weird looking door here. It looks like it, we can't open it. So I think we're in a dead end spot. But, uh, if you do have the time to sell it online. Sell it online on eBay. Sell it yourself. Take the time out. And you'll get the money that you uh, desire. It's too dark to see. Ooh, do I have like a flashlight? Too dark to see. Do I need a flashlight? I probably need a flashlight. That's my, spe that's my, that's my guess. Alright, so I assume we're sort of at a dead end here unless I I gotta get an item that will let me see in that wishing well. So, we'll come back down to the orphanage. And I think, I have a feeling now that we spawn that zombie guy, they're probably gonna show up all over this entire stage. I <clears throat> hope they don't, because that's a pain. What's behind this door? Did I go through this way already? I'm just running right through here. Oh, there's killer dogs everywhere. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. Crap. Run through. Alright, what's this way? Alright, what's over here? What is over here? Let's go through this door now. Anything over here? Ooh, creepy, creepy, creepy noises we're making here. What's over here? Well, looks like we found another one of those creepy hole. Oh, crap, that's creepy. That is definitely creepy. Something weird writing here, too. Can't read that. Ooh, there's a stick on there. Let's pick it up. Golf club, sick iron. Yeah, let's take the six iron. We can we actually beat this guy? Yeah, we could we could beat him. Oh, it's red. I can't go this way. Anything over here? Weird writing there too. Anything on there? Nothing. What about <clears throat> what's in the wishing well? Too dark to see. Alright, you know, fuck it. I'm going through this hole. It's gonna take me back to the apartment, but maybe there's something in the apartment that I gotta I gotta pick up. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that those games are gonna be in the glass case for a lot of money. Oh yeah, definitely for sure. The NES section in the store is definitely uh light for the any uh the glass case part. So the, that'll probably be filled up. Uh, but I'm gonna go there tomorrow afternoon on my way to go get coffee I'll, I'll, I'll definitely go check them out because I'm I'm due to visit them anyway oh, oh, scraps of paper from the magazine um, hopefully if they if they still have Saturn games there uh, they'll have some Japanese imports that I'm missing and I'll pick I'll definitely scoop those up because uh, I am trying to go for a full set of Japanese Saturn imports. Uh, recently picked up uh, Astra Super... Ooh, somebody... Is my bell ringing? What is that? Is that my bell? Let's see who's ringing the doorbell. 
Oh, it's I. Help, help me. me. Help! Let me out of here. She's trying to get. She's trying to get. There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises coming from. Oh, who's this guy? Help! Hey, Richard. Can you see anything? Richard is his name. No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. Richard's kind of a dick. The guy who lives here. What's he like anyway? know his name and face, but that's about it. Well, I'm gonna go call the Long store. overdue to go to the yeah. Clifton store. Haircut appointment tomorrow, Damn. too. Think about swinging by after. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll see you. Maybe I'll run into you. I imagine most of the good stuff is probably uh, gone, <laughs> but uh, it's it's I, I like going there. I like going there just to browse. I mean, the last couple times I've been there, um, I've been lucky because like there's a there's like a I think there's like a twelve person cap for uh, in the store, and they take the they take the 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 cap very seriously. So. Um, last couple times I've been there, I haven't had to wait in line. But the last time I was there, there was a line. I had to wait outside for like a good 30 minutes. And then I was able to go in and then browse and all that fun stuff. So I want to see if I could get there a little bit early than usual just to browse. And I'll probably just go to the Clifton one. All right, so I don't think there's anything in here that we're missing. I think we need to go back to that orphanage area. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna safety save just in case I get killed. Save right over our first save here. Let's see, how long have we been into the game? We've been playing for about 55 minutes. We're in positive those games will be gone. Been going to the Springfield store quite lately, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I have to make it out to the Springfield store still uh, again. Um, no, Leo is uh, he's been working on. Oh crap! Kernel, popcorn kernel. I swallowed when it got stuck to my throat. Um, Leo's been working on my Famicom disk system. He says it's going to take a little bit longer because he has to order some parts from, I think, Europe or Japan. So as soon as that get cut, gets in, I should be able to repair it. Then I'll be able to pick it up from him. We'll be able to play some Famicom disk system games on the, on the stream. Look forward to it. But, uh, yeah, I... I've been to I've been to both stores recently, like la like last month, but that trade in has, has prompted me to want to go there tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll, I'll be making a special appearance at the Clifton Digital Press Video Game Store, in North Jersey. A lot of the NES stuff will be sold out too. Oh yeah, I'm very positive. A lot of it, ooh, a lot of it will be sold out for sure. But I think it's worth checking out. I mean, I remember there was that one time they got the Steel Battalion trade. It was an arm coming up from the ground. Oh man, thank God it's just a tree root. Dude, that looks just like an arm though. It's not a tree root. I mean, I remember there was this one time that they got Steel Battalion controller traded in. It was at the beginning of the week. I said, oh man, that would be awesome if they have Steel Battalion when I go there. So I'll, I'll definitely pick it up. So sure enough, I was like, alright. Week went by, I was like, alright. Um, 
they, they probably sold out that steel battalion. And then I, I go there on the Saturday. And uh, it was still there. And I was like, alright. Looked around the store and I was like, alright, there's nothing else I want. Let me get that steel battalion. It set me back quite a bit. <laughs> but, uh... It was worth it. I got to I got to play it on stream. Uh, it's a freaking hard game, by the way. <laughs> and it takes it takes a while just to set it up. So like, if I if I would if I were to play it again, it would probably be on stream. I gotta run away from here. Serpentine, serpentine, Harry, run away, run away, run, run away, Harry, run away. Okay, cool. Go through the door. All right. There's a guy right here. What's he doing? This guy want. The, the, the door, the door won't open? open. It's locked. That nosy guy gave me something. What, really what did the nosy guy give you? Not for free? I'm really, Are you really thirsty? thirsty? Well, here, have nice. uh, have a bottle of chocolate milk. Bottle of chocolate milk, and you'll you'll pretend you're drinking chocolate milk, but you don't see the chocolate oh, coming out man, of the milk. That was awesome. Awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on Ooh, it. Ooh, something written on it. All right, let's take a look. What does it say? Can't use that there. Small split bloody inscription. Would you take it? What does it say? <clears throat> opposite where the lake house. Okay, so opposite where the lake and the house meet, inside the hand holding onto the ground. I wonder if we gotta go to that part where that tree trunk was like, uh, it was like the the tree trunk with the, that was like a hand. Probably have to go there with that. There was one more room I wanted to explore. Well, I believe it was right over here. So I just wanna check that out. What well, Famicom games are you looking to stream when you get it fixed? Um, I have that Indiana Jones knockoff that Konami made. Uh, forgot what it was called but um that came out on famicom disk system exclusively and it's really good um there's cat there's um th there's two castlevania games that came out specifically for the famicom disk system which are, are basically the same versions of the N as the nes cartridge versions um, except that the, the one for, the first one for Famicom, you could save. You could save your game. What the fuck is this? Getting killed here? Can't be getting killed. You could save your game on the first game, on the first one. And, uh, on the second one, you could save your game. In case you, you know, probably forgot, like... The, the second Castlevania game for NES, um, you save with the password, which is annoying, but the second one on Famicom Disk System, you save, and it's pretty cool. And the music is slightly different, uh, but uh, it's pretty much the same game, though. But, uh, and of course, they I think they 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 keep the the religious stuff in there. In the U.S. versions of the games, they always they they take that shit out. This is creepy. Oh, that's crap! Got a mash circle around these guys. I see. If we were playing the U.S. version of this game, oh crap! If we were playing the U.S. version of this game. Instead of circle, I think we would be hitting X. Because in Japan, on the PlayStation, circle is the accept button. And X is cancel. But in the US, X is accept and circle is cancel. Which is... It doesn't make sense for the most part. Okay, so across from the lake... So 
is the you can read this rating. Let's see, what did, what did the, the rating on here say? It said... Uh, what, what did it say? Opposite where the lake and the house meet, inside the hand holding onto the ground. The lake and the house where it meets. This is Toluca Lake. So Toluca Lake in Silent Hill, that's where we are now. Um, Let's... Go. What's on the ground? Portable medical kit. Yeah, we'll pick that up. Probably gonna need that very soon because I'm probably gonna get killed. So zombies keep killing me. All right, so we'll come out. I think I I I want to say we have to go back to where we saw that tree trunk with the hand. And then use the uh, the shovel to get through. Because I think once we, we do that, that's going to reveal something that we probably need. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run back. All the way back to the orphanage. And we'll go... Run out. And I think we got to go to the right. What I'm thinking. Some kind of kids' toy. All right, we go through this door here. All right, I think there's a bunch of enemies here, so I gotta be careful. Hey, Decano, now what's going on? Never played Silent Hill four. Should I pick it up? You should definitely pick it up. Um, I know GOG.com. They just released it for ten dollars. So if you're inclined to just try it without like playing it on a console, you could do it. You could go that route. Uh, if you want to play it on a console, the PS2, the US PS2 version is going for like I think a price of a hundred dollars. But I'm playing the Japanese version. the The price I paid for this was about thirty dollars, and the I bought it in a lot, so it came with uh, another game. So two games for thirty bucks. It was totally worth it. And this version is in English, so so you don't have to worry about like a language barrier. Uh, it also this also came out for the original Xbox. Uh, I think I paid like forty bucks for it, but of course the price of this game probably went up in value. I'm gonna use that med kit because I'm about to get killed. Yep, 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 yep. Run right out of here. Yeah, I definitely recommend Silent Hill the Room. Alright, so this is the part where I think there's a hand. Okay, if I go through here, this is probably going to take me to the... Oh, right here, right here. That's where I got to go. Okay, so let's use the shovel. Let's see what happens here. The shovel on the hand... See what that gives us. I hope it's a key. Or a flashlight. So if it's a flashlight, then we know we can go down the uh Rusted Bloody Key. Didn't know it was that expensive. Would should just get the Japanese one. Yeah, the Japanese one's like thirty to forty bucks. Uh and it's funny because that's what the the price of the US version used to go for, but now it's like a hundred it's like a hundred dollars now. Uh, that's crazy, but um, I think the original Xbox version is still at forty. So like, if you have an original Xbox, uh, you could just get that version. Uh, but that version is compatible with the 360. So if you have a 360 or an Xbox One, I think it'll work. Um, so there shouldn't be any problem there. Uh, but the oh crap, what's going on here? Why is it all foggy as F here? It just got like really foggy all of a sudden. That's kind of creepy. It's still foggy. Okay, I think I know this puzzle. I know what this puzzle is all about. So 
We picked up the bloody rusted key. We can't hold on to the bloody rust. Oh crap, I'm about to die. I gotta run away from there. That's why there's all these circles in the wall. So this is what we gotta do. We gotta go back to the living room. We gotta put the the ruddy the, the bloody rusted key in our treasure chest at home. And then we have to go back to the orphanage and go through the whole Yeah, this is what we get. I rem I remember what we have to do now. Cause I, I've I've played this game before. Uh I know it's been a while since I played it, but I I remember this puzzle. And he just wakes up. Yeah, I, I think the original Xbox version is still a steady forty dollars, but uh I guess the reason why people want the PS2 version is because that's the system it originally came on. And uh it's a pretty neat version, I gotta say. Uh, but yeah, GOG.com if you wanna play the just want to play the game. GOG.com uh, has a copy on there. Uh, the only thing is, I th don't believe it's like like when if you get it on GOG, I think you got to do some tweaking to get it running on your PC. Because uh, I think the version that they put up there is, they literally just took the CD-ROM version and put it on GOG without like patching it or anything like that so uh shouldn't should be that hard though just look up how do i get it running it should work um yeah let's go through the hole for playstation for resident evil silent hill yeah seems very yeah i i agree with you yeah playstation is perfect for the resident evil silent hill series yeah Playing on a console, playing on a PC, it feels a little weird. Cause I remember when I first played this game, I played it on PC and it was pretty janky. And then when I actually played it on console, I, it felt better. So, cause when I played it on, why did it just get like foggy all of a sudden? Oh well, well. So anyway, when you play it on PC, you use keyboard and mouse. Actually, it wasn't even with the mouse. It was with the keyboard, and it felt really awkward. So I was like, "All right, I gotta get this. I gotta get a controller for this." And even with the controller, it didn't feel right. So um, I was just like, "All right, PC's not good." So I was like, "All right, let me get it for Xbox." And it was it was cheap for Xbox. I think it was like twenty dollars at the time. And I was playing it on Xbox, and it felt played really good. Very nice, and uh, that was the way I uh, I played it on the console. And then I was like, "All right, I gotta get it for PS2," because actually, I I got you know original Silent Hill for PlayStation. I got Silent Hill 2 for PlayStation 2. Silent Hill 3 for PS2. I was like, "All right, I gotta get Silent Hill 4 for PS2." And I realized it was too late, and you know now it's like a hundred bucks, but uh. Maybe we'll get this. I'm happy. I just have to get, you know, to keep it consistent, I gotta get Silent Hill 2 and 3 for original, for, for Japanese PlayStation 2. And then I have to go back and get Japanese PlayStation 1 Silent Hill, which is probably still a little cheap. But hell, even, even for the, even for the PlayStation version of, uh, Silent Hill, I think that's like pushing the $100 mark. Right, so I gotta get the I gotta get the key out of here. And then I take the key, I go back into the hole. It seems better, yep. I agree. Go through the hole. Alright, so now we take the key. I guess we open the door with the key. 
Use the rusted bloody key. We go in there. I think that Jasper guy follows us in there. Scribbled note. Have you found Alicia yet? How's Walter's progress coming along? Ooh, Alessia. That's from Silent Hill 1. Hey, Zorak. Zero f 0518. Water. Come on, man. Have some holiday cheer. Water? Holiday cheer? What's going on with water? Water? What's up, dude? Welcome on in. Water? I got water. Cheers. <laughs> you doing, Zorak? Happy Friday. Oh, puppy dog. Puppy dog wants to get out. Let me go. Let me go get him. Have some nog and Irish whiskey. Oh, nice. Eggnog. Good stuff. Irish whiskey. Is that like Jameson Irish whiskey? What's up here? Lock is broken. Can't open the door. Alright. Like stuck through this invisible wall here. Oh, hey, it's Jasper. Uh, I wonder what, or what they, they did, did here. here. Wonder what's going on here? Yeah, I'm I'm curious myself as well. What's this? It's falling apart. I can't even read most of the pages. Part I can read. Uh second sign and God said offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released the bonds of blah blah blah. Third sign. Okay. Ooh. Oh, what the hell's going on? There's a plate on the door. Move the plate. What's in the plate? We've got the source placard. It says source. Shows a baby and says source. Let's go in the door. Let's see what that screaming is. Oh, crap. He lit himself on fire. Just burn there. That's it, and that's the uh, that's the forest level. Scotch whiskey. Ah, nice scotch. What kind of scotch? A special, special news, news report. report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The number is 17121. 17121. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Alright. Let's see here. Walter Sub Sullivan case. Interesting. Alright. So that is that was the forest the forest world level. Let's see here. Oh, somebody's at the door. Let's go take a look at the door. The doorbell. Who's at the door? Ooh, it's the landlord. This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me! There's something wrong with this room! 
Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? Ooh. You can't hear him. What's going on here? Oh, that's creepy. I just noticed that. Johnny Walker Blue Label. Oh, nice. Got some good stuff in there. Love Blue Label. It goes down smooth. See, this guy's trying to open the door. He's not going to be able to get in. Now, see, I just noticed that. Another hand appeared on the, the wall. Bottom left. That's creepy. It's the right key. So he thought he had the key, but he did not. So I guess we'll back right out. I think what we'll do is we'll save here. I'd like to take another safety save. Let's see. Return from Forest World. Alright, five fifth time saving. Not too bad. No post-it no, so let's see. Let's look let's look at our hole. Spy on our little girlfriend over here. See what she has. So of her. She's just standing right there, sitting right there. That's creepy. We're just we're just staring. Just waiting for her to. Hmm. Oh, she's moving. Oh, creepy. Why did she run out? She just like got up and bolted. That's kind of creepy. Why would she get up and bolt? Alright, so let's see here. Maybe, yeah, let's go spy on her again. Maybe she went towards, oop. That's creepy. See, she bolted near the door. She bolted somewhere. Let's see, let's go towards the, let's go there, that, she there, that's creepy, that is very creepy, creepy, creepy stuff, alright, so let's go through the hole, let's see where the, the hole takes us now. Hole's been changed again. Children's voices, would you go in? Yep. Let's take it. Let's take the hole. See where the hole takes us. This is creepy. Where are we now? Creepy, creepy, creepy. Where are we today? How am I pushing this out? HDMI? I'm using a SCART to HDMI adapter. And I'm using the SCART cable for the PS2, the RGB SCART cable. And on the SCART DHMI box, I'm sending it to the Elgato HD60. And that's how you're seeing it today. Really clear and smooth. Oh yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. It's pretty good stuff. All right, so let's see. There's a guy screaming. 
We gotta find him. Is he inside this room? Take the pistol. Graffiti. I'm being watched from the middle room. Okay, so I remember this. I remember this level in this game. This is actually a pretty cool level. And it's also very creepy. There's a sloppy written note on the ground. Let's see here. Luckily, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around the building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't get it. It didn't go in. Okay. Creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. It's gonna kill me. What's going on, buddy? Who are you? Block. It's gonna kill you? Who are you, man? Alright, that's kinda creepy here. Lock is broken. Okay, so I think I've been here. Oh, there's a there's a noose. There's a noose sitting there. Something's written. I'm sick of being watched. Yep. Yep, I think we all are sick of being watched. What's over here? Oh, creepy, creepy, creepy creatures just hanging out in here. Creepy. Hit that. Anything in here? Creepy, creepy, creepy. Okay, we got him out. Alright, so I think there's a little puzzle element to this level, for sure. Just have to figure out what it is. Anything in here? Lock is broken. So I believe we're just going in a, a nice giant circle. Here. So get me out of here. What's behind this door? So inside this door, we have door the hole that takes us back to the apartment and then we got a what is this what is that thing sloppy written note what's the note say to get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of this complex you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells however on the first and second floors these cells are locked that's so the kids won't discover them See so now, so you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. So we have a door here and a door here. Let's go to the, that door is locked. Let's go to this door. Where does this take us? Whole grimy atmosphere in the game makes me want to clean. Oh, really? Oh, this is creepy. That music makes it even more creepy. So we came out of the door, there's a ladder there. What the fuck is that noise? Whoa! Oh man, that made me jump scare. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running the F way here. I'm just, I'm just gonna run away. Oh, there's a ladder there. Oh, what's in here? It's not open. Okay, so let's keep going down. Now my dog wants to get back into the room. <laughs> oh, something's on the ground. Let me go pick it up. What is that? Saint Medallion. Yeah, let's pick up the Saint Medallion. Can be equipped along with the weapon. Anti spirit effects will held, but will eventually break. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, I know. What the hell is that noise? Oh, there's a door. It's behind the door. Okay. Looks like we could keep going down this. Uh the stairs here it's like a big long spiral staircase 
And there's a door here. Let's explore this room a little bit. What is it? Oh, there's a hole down here. Entered a hole? No, I don't want to enter the hole. Looks like this is a nice big cream. What the fuck? There's more of these guys. More of these guys. Let's attack them. Attack them. Right, they're just gonna come alive again. So we'll just, just explore a little bit. My puppy dog Montana wants to come back inside the room. All right, what's inside this door here? All right, so we gotta. What is this? Oh, this is kind of strange. Uh, this is like a giant door. It's like locked. It's like locked. All right, so this is what we'll do. We'll go. We'll get. We'll get on to you. Scared me. Okay, what's this? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy boy. Okay, so let's take. Hey Montana, come on the bed. Come on the bed, buddy. Buddy boy, come on the bed. Okay, so this 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 is a pretty creepy level. So we can't really go can't really do anything in this level. Um and then get killed by these guys. Uh, so I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. What's this sign say? It's a key. Take the key? Yeah, I'll take the key. Water prison exit key. Has up carved into it. Okay. Okay, you know, I remember there was a locked door that we didn't explore. Let's, let's, let's run all the way back up. Let's go up this ladder. I think if we just go all the way up the ladder. Oh crap, they're just attacking me. Run! Run, Henry, run! Run so you don't get attacked. Alright, go through the door. I used the water prison exit key. Let's go inside now. What's inside this room? Ooh, this is creepy. So there's a, a ladder. Let's go up the ladder. This is very creepy. We got another ladder here. Go down the ladder. So we could run up this spiral staircase. More, more of those buzz bomber things. They're annoying. Uh. Oh crap, I'm gonna hit. What's in here? Lock is broken. Oh, we got some. Uh, what is this? Just attack these uh, these warm thingies. Crap, no, 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 you come, you come back in there. More warm things. All right, what's inside this room? Can we go in there? Lock is broken. Yeah, we just run into them, of course. Anything in here? Lock is broken. Go open this door. What's inside this door? Diary. Been watching the surveillance rooms, people, the whole time, and something. Sometimes he's there. I tell he. Uh, I tell because I see a shadow move or I hear his footsteps. Okay. Alright. What's in here? Got some jars. The jars say anything. Bottles filled with black powder. Ooh, creepy. That is creepy. I could hear 
Somebody's like watching. Somebody's watching me here. It's very creepy. Lock is broken. What's in here? Lock's broken. All right. This puddle of pool pool of blood here. What is this? Something's written on the paper like a kid's writing. I peed my pants. I gotta wash them out so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. Oh. That's creepy. Did they kill him because he peed himself? That's that's really awful. Alright, there you go. Okay, so I went in a circle. So we'll go back through this door. I'll just run in a circle here. Ooh, like halfway almost dead here. What's up the next floor here? There's another floor. Let's go take a look at this floor here. What the hell is this? What is inside this room here? Very creep. What the hell is this? As I got, what the hell are you? Oh, he could kill me. This thing. Go in there. There's a hole. It's a hole. Jump in. Uh, you know, I'd rather not jump in that hole just yet. Just want to explore. Like Dora. Dora the Explorer. Let's go into the next room. But that thing goes fast. There's another hole. Jump in. No, I don't want to jump in the hole. There's another. There's another door. What's the, what's the newspaper say? Now it'll look like I'm sleeping. Huh? Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. Alright. So let's go around. Oh, crap. This guy is going to kick my ass. Oh, there's two of them. Go on there. Oh, crap. What the hell is this? Yes, I'll take the pistol bullets. I'll run out of the way. Let's, uh... comes back alive shit I'll just have to just attack both of this thing yeah okay so just just want to make sure you know I'm okay here Though the lack of legs and two heads would be, yeah, the whole thing that those those two head things look creepy, creepy as f. What's on the thing here? Graffiti he kids want to hide, but I can't hide. Oh crap! Damn, I'm gonna die. I need to find a way to refill my health and fast. What's in here? There's a hole here. You want to go down? No, I don't want to go down. You crazy? I ain't going down the hole yet. What's in here? It's a diary. Had beef stew yesterday in the cafeteria. I heard there's a death chamber beyond the kitchen and that they take nature from the dead people and the cook it. That scared me. That's gross. That's really gross. Oh crap, I'm about to get killed. There's something written there though. this newspaper here. Pick it up. A diary. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled at as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Oh yeah, you're in big trouble, mister. You did that. What's inside here? Anything in here? Nothing. Clothes lying there? Alright. Okay, so I've already been in here. 
right, so I'm thinking the best thing I could do now is go find a save point. I guess we could try going. Let's go up. What's in this room? So this room has one, another one of those funky looking doors. What's over here? Handle here, would you turn it? Yeah, I'll turn it. What happens when I turn the, what happens when I turn this? Ooh, what happens when I turn the knob? What does that do? Could I go through this door now? No, nope, I can't. So I think that turns on something if I if I use that. Can I can I turn it off now but I turn it in. nah I can't all right so I think I need to find one of those giant hole doors so I could save my game because I think I noticed when you go back to the apartment your life gets refilled so I just have to like figure that out somehow yeah let's go down the ladder yeah go down the ladder we'll just go down the ladder until we get to the bottom Hey, go down. Hey, go down that ladder. All right, so we'll go back in here. And we'll run right through the save point. Enter the hole. Sure, we'll enter the hole just fine. That's creepy, creepy hole. Creepy, creepy. Ew, dead people stew. Yeah, I know, right? He woke up fast. Ooh, I hear something on the radio. Oh yeah, your life meter ref refills when you're in your apartment. What's that? Box of tissues? Oh, we could turn off the TV if we could. I don't remember turning it on. Can we turn the TV off? We can't. Alright, let's use the diary. Save her game on number two. Yes, please. Let's see. Hour and twenty-seven minutes we've been playing for. Not not too bad. This dude should go to Home Depot for some nice paint. Yeah, he should. This this apartment sucks. It's a shitty apartment. I don't know what he's paying a month for rent, but like dude's gonna have a hard time paying his rent because he can't leave his apartment. And he probably can't like you know, go to work because he's stuck in his apartment. And he's probably going to get fired from his job. He can't afford the rent. And he's going to get evicted. But they can't get him. You know. They can't evict him because he's stuck in his apartment. Unfortunately. Alright. So let's go back to the. Let's wait for our life to go back. We'll top that off. And. Yep. Let's go through that hole again. And we'll. Uh, see if we can navigate this water prison I think that's what it's called the water prison so we turn on I think a valve which I guess turns on I think it turned on the power the prison so I'm curious because I remember there was a giant cog wheel in the basement I'm, I wonder if the cog wheel has I wonder if the cog wheel is do, is going to do something else. So I'm going to go down to the basement and check that out. So let's take, let's go find the basement. Go down this creepy 
is creepy. Like, this whole level is creepy. Very creepy. Oh, yeah, something happened. I'm, I'm hearing extra noise now. Extra noises are going off. That that means something. It means something's going down right now. Oh yeah. What is this? Something written on paper. Turn the lights in the third floor cells. Use turn the water turn this water wheel. Remember that the water flow in the direction of the water wheel water wheel. Of course you must have open the sluice gate on the roof. So alright, so we did it. We did that. Did that just fine. I wonder what happens if we go into this room now. Transformer is working. Don't see Optimus Prime. Alright, so I guess we could go back upstairs now. And I'm guessing we have to jump into one of those holes. That's the other thing we didn't do yet. So we gotta go all the way to the third floor ladder. Should I go up? Yeah, let's go up. Let's go up the ladder. Yeah, go up the ladder. Let's go to the third floor. Let's see. We should be able to go out through here. Go up the ladder. Yeah, go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. So that's the roof. So let's go back down one floor. Go into this room. I believe we just have to go into one of the holes. And it should take us to... It should take us somewhere. So we'll just go in there. Up to so the light is on. So that's what that did. Turn the light on. Let's go down the hall. Let's see where that takes us. Lock is broken. All right, let's go down this hall. See where this takes us. So this is going to take us to the first floor now. Broken. One more. See where this takes us. Wait, oh crap, where the fuck are we? There's two of them. It's in here. Unlocked. Alright, let's go in here. Where the hell are we? Unlocked. Locked on the other side. What is this? Oh, I see where we are now. <laughs> I see where we are. So this is this is creepy. So let's see what happens when we climb the ladder. So if we climb the ladder, now we're in the center of the prison. That hole was downright nasty. Oh yeah. This place continues to deteriorate. Hey, upside down, Matt. Welcome on in. He ha he hijacked the chat. Yeah, let me give you a shout out. Upside down, Matt. Upside down, Matt. Give you a shout out for no apparent reason. Your last plan retro. Well, come on in, man. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. The less they know about that, the better. Can't open the doors from, but from this room, I could watch them get more and more in mass, mass. Massive. E massive. Each day, I can't read for shit. 
With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Last game I played was Bomberman Hero. It was a lot of fun than I expect. Bomberman Hero, is that for PS1 or N64? On the great, following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning all, each cell with the body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, I bet you're dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One of them is on the first floor. One is on the second. The other is on the third. You line the three rooms up, then bingo. Oh, that's creepy. N64, okay. And we can look through these holes. That is creepy. Very creepy. What's this red thing? Do? Is that like an alarm or something? Like, who designed this? Is this like a... Like this, is this supposed to be like a real place or something? Like this water prison? Like it's gotta be made up. Oh, so that's like, it's like, get me out. Get me the hell out of here. That's weird. Alright. This is like a, a really weird puzzle. If I remember correctly, we have to like, I think when we go up the next floor, we're going to have the ability to rotate the floors, the rooms. Document here. Let's see what the document says. I went looking for Jank with that Bomberman game. We got a good game. That the honor, irony. Yeah. Whew. All right. Hold on, what did that say? Um, scrapbook, I wanna take a look. What did that say? Second floor surveillance room. To keep close eye on the kids, important to keep the well cells well lit. It's lights on the third floor, okay. Chamber in the basement, all right, we did that already. Buildings rotate, light up the cells, okay. You can turn the handle in the middle of this room. You can easily rotate the cells. Can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with the first floor cell that has the bloodstained bed. But if you use the people in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Okay, so it looks like I think in this room we could do, we could rotate. Yeah, we could. And I guarantee if we go up the next floor, we can't. So we got to go up. So we have to find, what's this thing say? Kind of memo. Secret number for getting through the, the back of the kitchen is 0302. 0302. Alright. Wait, but it said I couldn't rotate this. What the hell? Alright. Forget it. So we're on the third floor. So which room had the the hole? Uh, I'm horrible at puzzles. Okay, let's go back down here. Let's go back down again. So where's the hole? We can't rotate this room. We gotta find the one with the bloody bed, it said. Find the bloody bed. The bloody bed. Ugh. I'm not seeing a bloody bed anywhere. Yet. Oh, there's a bloody bed right there. 
I see a bloody bed. Okay, so the bloody bed. We go up. It's to the left of the. All right. Okay, so if I turn the, let's turn the knob, let's turn the knob, uh, hold on. So if we look through here, that's a hole. So if I turn the, if I turn this right, what happens to the, okay, so if I look through here, there shouldn't be, okay. So if I look over here, <laughs> okay. Okay, so if I turn it one more time, there should be a hole in that room. So let's turn it right. There should be a hole in there. Okay, perfect. So now what we should do... <laughs> hmm. Let's see if there's, like, maybe a bloody bed in one of here. Because it said something about a bloody bed. We spotted it on the first floor. Bloody bed's right there. Okay. So let's see. Let's turn it one, two. Let's turn it two more times. See what happens. Turn it right. Go down. Bed's bloody. All right, so I gotta turn it one more time. Go up. Turn it one more time. Turn it right, and then go look at it. There should be a bloody bed in that one peephole. And I guess on the third floor we gotta find another bloody bed. Yep, bloody bed's there. Let's go up one more time and find that bloody bed. One of them's gotta be a bloody bed. Okay, no lights there. Montana doing? Hey Montana, what's he doing? Alright, so I see a bloody bed right here. So let's turn that one, two, two times. Should be able to turn it two times. Let's turn it two times to the right. Go that way. Let's turn it right. One and a two. Ooh! That opened the door. Alright, hold on. Let's see here. Should be able to turn it one more time and should line up. Turn it right. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. It should make this... Okay, cool. So now we just have to go to the top floor of this 
thing. Let's go down. And then find the bloody bed and just go straight down. It should take us to where we need to go. I'm a genius. What's in here? Ooh, crap. There's a little boy and there's the creepy guy. That boy. boy. And who are you? His name's Walter. Walter, Walter Sullivan. Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They've tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. That kid Walter. And he was really into that. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. Scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now I think we gotta go through the top floor. We gotta get to the top floor. We'll go up the ladder. Yep. Now we just have to go back to the, uh... Yeah, top floor, find a bloody bed, go down, and that should take us to where we need to go. Yeah, so go up. Yeah, I'll go up the ladder. Uh, should be the top floor. Nope, not the bloody bed. One of these is a bloody bed. It's a bloody bed in one of these rooms. I'm gonna find it. No bloody bed. Bloody bed. It. That's not a bloody bed. One of the beds had blood on. Oh, there it is. All right, so we should just go down this hole three times, and it should take us to the exit of this level. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's go in there. Creepy holes. One more. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, this is creepy. Where are we? We're in the kitchen. Where are we? Oh, crap, crap, crap. Well, it looks like we found where we need to be. What's in here? Unlocked. Where does this take us? It takes us in there. Okay, actually. So... Save my ammo. Switch to the uh, the not the six iron. What's in here? There's a plate on the door. Remove the plate. Watchful placard. Shows an eye and says watchfulness. All right, let's go through the door. Oh, there was a code we that was written down. Ship. All right, hold on. Secret number zero three zero two. All right, let's put it in. Yep. 
There we go. Now we'll open the door. And what the hell happened? And what the hell? What the hell happened here? Yep, he's dead. One eight one two one. It's the other victim. All right, that's the end of the water prison level. Cool. up window anything in the window Hotel Ashfield Interesting okay Let's go through there TV or the faucet? I will save here just in case. Hour and 45 four minutes. Been in game four. Alright, so let's see. Let's clear up our inventory for a bit, though. Put those away. Uh, yeah, we're good there. Let's take a look at the note that's over there. Scrap of red paper stuck here. Let's read that paper. Found something that's extremely affected against the ghost that saved my life. Stuck to the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it as a weapon it's heavy and it's hard to carry it but somehow it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power strike when the sword is energized if you don't reduce their power your attacks will be repelled as far as I know there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power it's extremely valuable July 23rd all right Red Diary. Put in my scrapbook. Let's see. Anybody at the door? Oh, look, another hand got added at the bottom left. That's what this guy's doing. He's just staring at the door. He's creepy. I think this guy's more creepy than the game, to be honest with you. He's just staring at the frickin' door. Like, do something. Are you gonna, like, jump scare me or something? That's scary. Alright. Let's go spy on our girlfriend. Let's take a look. Let's see what she's up to. Oh, she's just laughing. Oh, you know what? Maybe she's watching TV. And laughing. 
Maybe she's just high. That's freaking creepy. That is cre the creepiest thing in the whole game, I think. Eileen laughing. Now, let's see. Is the water coming through this, this door here? Washing machine. Nope. Not coming from there. Toolbox. Anything in there? Tools and things. Right, I'll come out of here. Alright, we'll go through this door. Oh, there's blood in the bathtub. What the hell? Blood, it's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water filled room under the cylinder yeah, under the prison. You're crying. Hey mind scan, what's going on? How you doing? The water is e either isn't running in the toilet. I hear crying going on. Let's see what's in the hole. Hole's even bigger now. A lot of noise coming inside the hole. Would you go in? Yeah, let's go in. Let's see what's what's on the agenda next in this hole. Oh crap. Big hole. Very, very big hole. Um Mind scan redeemed. Wear the Kasumi Ninja headband for some time. Alright, man. You got it. Right after this cutscene. So he wakes up. Alright, so. There's a backstory to this. Wakes up in an alleyway. Let's see. Right, I'll pause here. So, Kasumi Ninja is a game that came out for the Atari Jaguar. And on the front cover, it says free headband inside. I don't know if this was like all copies of Kasumi Ninja, but my copy of Kasumi Ninja that I got recently um, at a convention comes with the Kasumi Ninja headband so I thought hey why don't I like make that a reward you know redeem 2,000 points on here 2,000 Cheerio reward points I'll put the headband on so I'm gonna put it on the only downside with this headband is uh, it itches my forehead so I have to take it off after a certain time so let's let me let me take this off we'll put this on Haven't worn this thing in a long time. Thank you for redeeming that. There we go. I'll move that here. Make sure the Kasumi Ninja logo shows. All right. Cool. Here we go. Let's continue. Fancy. Oh yeah. There we go. So now we are in. What level is this? Just gonna mash circle until I like get somewhere. Okay. Alley world. This level's very creepy. Oh, what's over here? More creepiness is happening. What's this? What's a car doing here? Now, this level's kind of neat once you realize where you're all, where you are located. By the way. But uh, I'll, I'll I won't spoil it. But the noises. <laughs> nice. Bash that guy in. Yeah. So uh. Look familiar? <laughs> I was gonna say, look familiar. 
I know where I am, but curious if anybody knows where we, where we are right now. Oh crap! Somebody fell down. Ouch! Damn it! Damn it! You fell from like ten stories. You're still alive. Uh, where the hell are we? Who's got a gun? You're a real person. A person. Hey. You're the guy that lives across from me. Oh, this is his vision. Yeah. My name's Henry. It's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree. From 207. What the hell's happened to us? The whole... In this freaking world. But if you're here too... Then there must be something wrong with the whole part of building. building. That must explain what happened to that other guy, too. What other guy? What other guy? What other guy? I lived in 302 before you. Before you. A journalist. Spear he disappeared one day. one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Get the hell out of here. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Watch out for that. Key. Watch out for that key. Huh. Oh crap. Gotta attack this guy. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Take out my nine iron. Kick his ass. Six iron. Oh, there's a guy right behind me. Oh crap. No, you don't. Damn, it's broken. All right, hang on, hang on. Long pipe. Pipe is the best weapon because it doesn't blow. It, it doesn't. It doesn't break it on you. It's very durable. We go through there. So I'll I'll kind of spoil it where we are. If you take a look over here, you see that there's a sign here. In your apartment, um, you could look outside your window. You could see like a building with a sign that looks just like that across the street. We're in this building right now. That's where we are. What's a car doing here? So that's not really a spoiler, but it's just a realization. Where are we? Nice. Lock is broken. Can't open the door. It shut in, but where are we? Stream. Oh crap. Okay, well, I am not opening. I'm not pulling that thing out of him because evil shit's gonna happen. I know for a fact. That 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 thing does come in handy. Ooh, a doggo. Yeah, Montana's here. I ain't pulling that thing out of him yet. Unless that guy has a key that I need, I'm gonna come back out of here. Let's see. I remember seeing another another door. Oh crap! Oh, crap! 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 Die! Crap! Oh, that guy just like slid down the stairs and he died. Can't make that up, I swear. Alright, what's in, what's in this room here? Can we go through there? Lock is broken. Yeah, you probably, I probably have to go through that. I probably have to pull the thing out of him. That's alright. We'll try that. Yeah, we'll pull the we'll pull the stake from him. Take the item. Got the key. Oh, cool. We're not gonna pull it out. All right. So we'll open the ghost key. We'll come through there. Well, where are we? So 
very word level we're in. Uh, so we keep going down the stairs. What's over here? Anything special? A door. Let's just see a door. I see one door. I guess we'll go through the door. Ooh, spooky, spooky angles. Where are we? So we have a door here and whatever the hell that is. Okay, some bullets. Take the pistol bullets. What is that? What the hell? Something reeks. Yep, something does reek. Okay, let's see. Let's go through this door. This little fun house of doors. So we got two doors here. Golf bag, nothing inside. Golf bag, nothing inside. Aluminum bat, yeah, I'll take the bat. Bats are cool. Two doors, and you know what? I think I saw a circle. Let's go through the circle hole. And we'll refill our health and take a safety save, because I think things are gonna get a lot harder as we go along. He wakes up. I skipped that cutscene. Yeah, so let, let show you guys really quick. So I look out the window. We look to the right. Well, there's a guy like exercising down there. If you look to the right, see how it says Hotel at uh, South Ashfield? That's the building we were on in the roof. So Bar South Ashfield, 555. Three seven five zero. I think we gotta remember that. Spoiler alert. Can we enter our code here? Does that work? Yeah. Noise, what was that? All right. All right, let's come out of here. Save here. Let's see where we return from. Building World. Alright. It's like Super Mario Brothers. Building World. Ooh. Let's try looking at the peephole here. Ooh. Here before. It wasn't so just him either. Some, some wrong. With this whole apartment. apartment. Scary me. <laughs> well, anyway. Set the note under his door. Oh, he says something odd here. Who keeps an umbilical cord in their room? Oh, uh, I, I said that though. 
see all those noises? This guy's a weirdo. The umbilical cord. I keep in a box in my room. It started to smell terrible. It's stained with blood and I can't read it. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. You put the superintendent's memo in your scrapbook. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Chalmers. Super Nintendent. I'll go through the door. Right, so we'll go back to Building World. I guess I'll enter the hole. Yeah, it's PS2. Yeah, it looks pretty. It looks really good for PS2, I agree. Very good graphics. Like I have the I have the uh, original Xbox version. And I really can't tell the difference between the two. Alright, we got two doors. What's over here? That's locked. What's in here? Alright. Oh, what's this? Anything? nothing oh crap that's creepy uh, creepy noises very very creepy spooky all right what's in here oh crap he didn't do anything to me, but I'm just gonna pre-attack before he attacks me, sort of deal. Two of them. Oh, we're in a pet store. Dogs. I killed with file fire, Henry. Oh crap. Albert Sports Key. Let's see here. Oh. Flies everywhere. Oh, keep going. Albert Sports Goods, Sporting Goods key. Let's see what's in here. Oh, crap. Guy won't let me through. Yeah, run right through. Guy's gonna wake up again. Yep, oh, we'll run right through him. down here. Oh, it's like upside down. Matt. This level's upside down, Matt. <laughs> Everything's upside down. Matt. What's this? An upside down clock. The hands aren't moving. The doorknob is rusted shut. Can't get it open. Rusted, you can't get it open. Do I have any like rust -oleum or something like that? Like some WD 40? I'm sure that'll open it. So maybe I need to get something out of that sporting goods store. So let's go back in here. Oh crap. I'm just gonna run away from this guy. Run! Run, Henry! Run! Man, 
mash the yeah, match the circle button. Am I missing anything in here? I don't think I am. Now we'll go through this door. Alright, now we'll just go back upstairs. There's another door I can go through. It's the one that's over here. Albert Sports Key. Let's go through there. Let's see what we got next. Oh, this is creepy. There's two of them. Get your guard up. One behind you, Henry. Be careful. Very careful, Henry. He's right behind you. Mash the circle. Oh crap, he's coming for me. Take him out. There we go. Hey, he just slid down there. And he fell. Oh crap, there's more. Mash that circle, but nice. Go around here. We're going downstairs. Oh, we got more. I'm just going to run away from these guys because they're annoying. What's down here? Is it? Because I saw two doors. What's over here? I have a feeling I've been here already, sort of. So when I look I look down there, it looks like... Yeah, there's a hole down there. Elevator's not here. Door won't open. It's shut. What's in here? Lock is broken. Cannot open the door. So if the lock is broken, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Elevators bro oh it's in there, I see. Another door. What is this? Some sort of freight elevator? Oh, we're going down. I have a prediction what's gonna happen. We're gonna come out of this elevator. And we're gonna be in a haunted section of this building world. That's Silent Hill for you. Oop. Hey, it's your neighbor. Are you the kid he was talking kid about? He's talking about. Uh, don't kill the kid. He's gonna kill you right you back. In that apartment too, huh? Gotcha. <clears throat> Say, you look a lot like a little punk that I once caught sneaking around there. Uh -oh. Do you know something about what's going on? Hey, hey, you! Stop! Damn. Brutal. All right, so come out of here. Yeah, go down the ladder. Why not? Was this a shower room? This is weird. Why would there be a shower room? What is this? Nutrition drink? Yeah, I'll take the nutrition drink. I'm probably going to get killed soon. Let's see. Have to come in here and get my distance, sort of. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Let's run through. Let's take the ladder up. Can we go up the ladder? Yeah, let's go up the ladder. Why not? Let's see where the ladder takes us. We got more of those locked on the other side. What's this door take? This lock is broken. All right, keep your keep your guard up. All right, come back, come back here, you. <coughs> there you go. Stomp on him so he doesn't come back. Keep your guard up. <clears throat> Man, we'll 
little stomp on this guy. He's out. Let's keep. Oh, we got another one. We got two of them. Maybe three. Anything in here? Nothing in there. Oh crap! It, oh, there's four of them. Uh oh, I'm running away. Run, run, Henry, run. There's more. Run. But oh, there's so many of them. Keep mashing the button here. Sneak right through that guy. No problem. Oh, we're inside a building right now. Where the frig are we? Let's keep going down. Oh, there's a giant fan, it looks like. Let's see what the giant fan has to do here. That's creepy. Giant fan everywhere. Let's go in here. What is this? Creepy level. Very creepy level. Let's keep going down. Oop, crap. Keep going down. Did I miss anything? Boxes, wooden crates, nothing in there. Alright, I got two doors. What's in here? Lock's broken. What about this one? Where are we? It's a rusty axe. Yeah, I'll take the rusty axe. Why not? What is this? There's a memo here. What does the memo say? The boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of the store's phone number. But the phone number is written there on the sign on the roof. Can anybody see it from South Ashfield Street? Is that really okay? Oh, so that number, the phone number for this building that we saw from the okay so I know the I know the code for this puzzle but uh, I'm gonna be a wimp was it three five seven eight or so? three five seven oh three seven five I'm gonna try three seven five oh really quick without even type well they've been going by so it's three seven five oh yep I got it right shit Ah, I remember those last four digits. Perfect. All right, so we come out of here. Stairway collapse. <gasps> no. <gasps> that scared me. All right, I guess we gotta run all the way up here. I have a feeling what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, I knew it. This is like that level of Metal Gear Solid where you have to like run up the uh, the communications tower. I'm sure they took the same assets from the game and just sort of like ripped it and repurposed it for this part here. So you gotta run up the the staircase, and I think you're gonna get enemies come after. Yep, I see the enemies. Yeah, they're they're sneaking up. See, I know I know what's up here. Now we just need a level from. Snake Eater, where you're climbing that long, like, ladder, and you hear the title scream, the title music, creep up up as you're going up the, the ladder. Okay, cool. Looks like we made it through. Let's go through it. What's this? Number 207 for my apartment building. Move the plate. The chaos placard. Chaos. I'll take it. Let's go through here. Uh oh. Another death? Oh, the guy got shocked. What is this? Why are you flashing? I don't want to restart Steam. Oh. Uh, a kid? Now it's num the number. That's no kid. 
One, 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 two, one. That's the number that's written on his forehead. Where is it? Alright, so... His neighbor is dead now. It's getting serious. So now he wakes up. And... Where the hell is he? He wakes up. Where the hell are we now? It's a man 207 pointing his finger. Pointing at 303 Eileen's room. Why is he pointing his finger? Who is that man? That's freaking weird. Why are we pointing his finger? Yeah, so I kind of... I didn't cheat. I just, like, sort of looked over there and I saw oh, Bar Southfield. It's a 3750. And I read that note. It's like, oh, the code door is the last four digits of the phone number. I forgot the phone number. It's on the billboard. So I just remembered that. I thought you had to call up the bar, but... It's a cool little puzzle that you have to solve there. Where are we now? Looks like another one, oh, Captain. One, Captain. Got one, one, two, one on his head. It's just like that case from ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Crazy. Yeah, but even so. Damn. Okay. Yeah, we'll take a safety save here. Why not? Save number three. So the Japanese import plays in English. Yep. Playing the uh, Japanese import version. And it's completely in English. Um, you could set it to Japanese, the, the text. But, um, yeah, by default, it's in Japanese. Like, the text only. The, the voices are all in English. But you go through the options menu... And change it to ja to from j uh, Japanese to English, like through this menu right here. So by default, it's in Japanese. And you just set English, no biggie. And it's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> but it's a big life. It's a it's pretty huge life hack here, especially today, because if you want to copy this game on PS2, you're spending over a hundred bucks. What's inside Eileen's room? Nothing. Let's see, it was outside. And another hand is on the bottom left. It's pretty legit. Oh, what, what is this guy fighting for? He's yelling. You need Japanese PS2 first. It's totally worth it. I mean, if you want to go after, like, the, uh, the library, there's a, whole, there's a whole library of games for PS2, PS1 that didn't come out in America. And what's great about the Japanese PS2 is it plays PlayStation 1 games. So, if you want to play both systems, get the Japanese PS2. It's awesome. So, let's see, anything in here? Yeah, so I have a Japanese PS2, and I have a Japanese PS1 with the LCD screen. But I played my PS1 and PS2 imports on the, the, the PS2. It's, it's easier. I have a whole lot of ISOs checked out, a bunch of them. HDD is still working on a mod PS2. 
Something broke won't read anymore. So I have to figure out how to fix it. Ah. Won't read anymore. Let's see. So the hole's getting bigger. We go inside. Let's go inside. now where does he wake up where the hell are we where ah oh, 303 oh shit Eileen This level's creepy. This is apartment world. So we're inside the apartment building, but it's like haunted. And you can go into any apartment building. Uh, you can go into any apartment. apartment in this building except for your oh, apartment. Jesus. It's a pretty pretty wicked level. I thought you play this level at the end for a second, but apparently you don't. Rio 2. Locked. Scrap of red people stuck in the door. Way to show up. Let's see. Could we go under? I, th I would assume we would have to go back to my apartment through a red ring to get to to go back to the apartment. Uh, let's see here. Three o two. What's in three o three? Can we go to three o three? It's locked. What was that guy doing here? Could be the next victim. Or could be Eileen. It's in 304. It's locked. Can't go into 304. What's in here? Third floor. There's a guy talking here. What's he saying? I got this from Miss Galvin a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. She was younger than me back then. Got a handful of PS1 Japanese games. I have no way to play them. Yeah, I would recommend so getting a get a Japanese PS2. They're like a that. you can get one for like seventy dollars, I think. Here. Here, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I don't want your stupid doll. It's freaking haunted. I'm not getting your haunted doll. Spoiler alert, I'm not taking his doll. Take his doll, weird shit happens to you. Yeah, get a Japanese PS2. It's, uh, you get one for like, you get a Slim for like 70 bucks. The, the fat PS2 models I think go for more, but they're not reliable at all. So just like, save your money, get the, just go for the Slim. Best bet. I'm playing this on a, on a Slim. And it's really good. See, door lock 204. Oh crap. 203 door lock. Yep, emulate PS2, PS1 perfectly. Now, of course, you could get a fat PS3 Japanese model. That's backwards compatible with, I think, pretty much everything. Except that um, fat PS3s are really unreliable. Because you, you, you're subjected to the yellow light of death. Which, surprisingly, it hasn't happened to my fat PS2 yet. My fat PS2 can play PS2 game. I mean, my fat PS3. And my fat PS3 can play PS2 games. So, it's pretty good. But, uh, I just, I just play all my PS2 on my PS2. 206. What's this? Some dogs. Run right in here. It's locked. The fat non backwards compatible too. Oh yeah. Not backwards compatible. Anything over here? 
a lot of garbage. Dig over here. A lot of garbage. Oh crap. Crap, crap. I'm running away from these guys. They say the first rule of like having dogs is don't run away from them. Cause they'll chase after you. They'll outrun you. Let's go back downstairs. Ooh, the red room. Let's see what's in here. What's this? Superintendent's room. Can we go in there? It's locked. Is every room in this level locked? What is this? Tricycle. 106 is locked. About 105. 107. Anything here? I'm just gonna keep mashing circle to pick up something. Bought it like three months ago before PS3 Slim release for a hundred less to Oh nice. Nice. I inherited my uh, PS3. It's my sister's uh, now my sister's ex-boyfriend, but it was her uh, boyfriend at the time. He was getting rid of his video game consoles and video games and he was like hey I know you collect video games you want my PS3 I was like sure and he gave me a he gave me that the fat PS3 and he gave me a big old box of PS2 PS3 games which is sitting underneath this bed I pull it out every now and then to take a look what's in there um, it's basically just like Games like God of War, Hitman, Max Payne, nothing special. No, no, no anime games really. So, but like, you see like True Crime Streets of uh, L.A. in there. Some good stuff. All the Grand Theft Autos. Damn, I'm getting tired. Japanese PS2 Slim seems to be more expensive, actually. Really? I thought they were like $70, and the fat model is like 100 Or do I have it reversed? The fat model, like 70 and the Slim is that reversed? These are the tenants. Lockers 101 and 304. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting tired. Uh, let's see. I was, I was actually just in that room. Was in that room. eBay Fats are like seven. Yep, I got it. I got it flipped then. Yeah. Yeah, one time I was at a convention, I bought a, a Japanese PS2 fat model. I paid like a hundred bucks for it. And I brought it back to my hotel room and it was broken. Uh, it didn't read any games because I bought a bunch of PS2 games. So I brought it back to the guy's table and he was like, oh. Your games might be defective. That's why it's not working. I was like, dude, I went to your table and I bought your games. So you're saying your games are defective? And he was like, oh shit. And then you know what he did? He, he whipped out a slim PS2. He was like, here, just take the slim PS2. Give me back the fat model. We'll call it a day. So I got a, I got a PS2 slim out of it. And uh, I got to play his games. His games were good. Yeah. Nice indeed. <sighs> okay. So, where the hell am I supposed to go? All right, let's go back to the third floor. It's locked. We're back. Yeah, no problem. 
202. Just gonna ignore this guy. It's locked. Come on! Go, 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 go. It's locked. Ugh. Go, 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 go. Right. I gotta go back to the third floor. Let's see what I missed. The stairs. I'm not picking up that doll. So I think as soon as you pick up the doll, hey Jr. Welcome, happy Friday. I think as soon as you pick up the doll, everything gets haunted. Zero three. Could it be? Ugh. I wonder if that scrap piece of paper contains like keys or something that I need to proceed. Oh, where does this take us? I wasn't in this room before. Where are we? Keys, a mash and circle. Oh, look at these ma look at these porno ma wow, look at all these porno magazines. <laughs> oh, look at them. I'll get banned from Twitch. Screw that. I don't want that happening. Let's go down here. What's in this room? Looks like a shower room. This guy, is he, is it the super? It's much younger in this picture. It's key taped to the back of it. Can't hold anymore. I can't hold anymore. I love you, nurse. Key tape in the back of it. Magazine lying in the open. No, look at them. Look at them all. All right, so I gotta go back to my. Oh fuck! Pro magazines everywhere. No time for that now. This is like an elevator or something. This is weird. Is it elevator room? Weird. All right, hold on, hold on. What is this? Diary here. Joseph next to me. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next to me who gave me that rare porn magazine, looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare one, he'd give it to me. But he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist and he was always investigating stuff. But I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment and I can't hear all I can hear all the weird noises coming from there. July first, Mike. Oh, my beautiful Rachel. What's the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess I it's somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. That's weird. So what's this one here? Can't hold it anymore. All right, going through the rut. I'm going through the hole. I need to put some items away. Ugh. Ugh, this headband's getting itchy. Ooh, it's getting hot. He wakes up. Alright, so I gotta put the items away. Oh, weird. What's on the note? Red paper. Figure out the riddle behind the numbers. 01121 is actually 0121. In other words, 1 out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people, but he never finished the job. 204863. Nope. 
He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the seventh and eighth victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. The grisly mass murder of ten people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. There are two big puzzles here. The first is, what was the motive of the murderers, for the murderers? The second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. Interesting. Alright, so we'll go through this door. Let's see what's going on behind here. Oh, this guy's freaking creepy. He walked by. He's probably going to come back again. I'll save here. Save over number three. Yeah, we're good. Let's see how her little girlfriend's doing. She disappeared. I can't see her. I wonder if something happened to Eileen. All right. Okay, so we go to the chest. We have to put items away. Put the, put the placard away. Let's put the... We gotta put the... Put the amulet away. Broken nine iron. Let's put the bat away. Put some bullets away. Right, so I got those two. Good. Alright, so let's go back to the apartment world. Enter the hole. Sure, I'll enter the hole. Red paper, take the red paper. Through it towards two doors. I'll go this way. Let's, up, let's pick it up. Take it. Take the key. Let's take the other key. Take the key. Locker, one 106 key. Right out of the way. Let's see. Is there anything else here? So I think I need. I know what I need to do with that. Um, that note. So we run out of here. So I think I'm supposed to take the note and slip it underneath my door, like this. So that I put it under my door. Next time I go back to the door. I see what is this? 105, 106. So we got the superintendent key and the 105. 105 and we got the, the mailbox key. Alright, so let's go back to the first floor. We ain't taking that thing. No way, Jose. Alright, let's go back downstairs. Let's use this key. One oh six. What's inside the locker key? I love you, Rachel, Mike. Rachel and Mike. Love you, Rachel, Mike. So we know Rachel is. That was pointless. Very pointless. All right. So we gotta find room one oh six the superintendent's room. 
Let's start with this. Uh, let's look for 106. Use the superintendent's key. Let's go in here. Nothing in there. Another piece of red. Take it. Three of tours. Two door. Keys for each apartment. Take the apartment keys. I got the apartment keys. Three or three is missing. So we got the apartment keys. Excuse me. This guy's apartment's closed down by bars. Which is weird. Anything in here? Uh, what about the computer? Nothing. Much nothing. It's a diary. Red box seems even strange today. He's got a terrible spell smell. The red box. That's probably the umbilical cord that the uh, superintendent was talking about. Um, still don't know why the hell he's got an umbilical cord in, in his uh, his room. Ugh. Alright, uh, pick up the red paper, take it. Okay, so. Found by nurse, through it to. So we got the keys for the whole apartment. Alright, where the hell do we go now? Where's the, where's my save point? We'll go through here. Yeah, I gotta go to the top floor. I gotta leave myself those notes. the notes under the rug. Whoa. Put the torn red paper in the door crack. Ugh. Yeah. Let's see. falling asleep all right might as well just save my game and maybe call it here let's see uh, hmm nope not picking up the door no, not, not picking up the doll Ugh. I had a long day today all right let's see here go to the, the hole enter the hole No, look at them. Look at them all. Look at them all. Alright, maybe we could read the notes really quick. Makes up. Alright, so let's see. We walk over to the door. Let's read the notes. Oh, the fan's on. That's what's making the noise. Shit. Way to turn that off. Let's take a look. Red paper. Discovered four years ago that they discovered the body. 1221. Right okay. Round two. Alright, what's on the other one? 
for in red paper. What does that say? Plus key, Aline Gavin's room. I think it, let me. I've got to find it and bring it back. Let me think. Last piece list. Okay. So you got to find the other, other, <laughs> other piece of paper. What does this one say? Picked up the key that Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I'll give it to the super. Okay. When we saw that the super it was missing 303. I think that's what it said there. Yeah. Alright. I think I've been going for pretty long. I'm going to save here at number four. Let's see how long I've been going. Two and a half hours. That's not too bad. My stream, I've been running for almost four hours. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Surprisingly tired on a Friday night. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. I think I might call it here, actually. This might be a good place to stop for the night. Um, I don't have work tomorrow or anything, but I, I do have plans during the day. Uh, so I probably should get some sleep and call it early today. Uh, so I'll probably do that. So let me take this, uh, I'll keep it on. Maybe I'll fall asleep with the sun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys coming for coming to my stream tonight. Um, sorry I'm calling it a little early. I'm just falling asleep. The, uh, <laughs> uh, the atmosphere in this game, it's just making me sleepy. <laughs> and I didn't get enough sleep last night. So, uh, I will, I'll go catch some Z's in a little bit probably and just end the day early so uh this is uh so tomorrow i'm going to be i'm not going to be playing this game tomorrow tomorrow i'm going to have another sega i do this every saturday um i have a variety stream night where i play a bunch of sega saturn imports sega saturn imports is kind of like my thing it's like the theme of the channel hell you see the sega saturn logo in my channel trailer uh so Tomorrow I'm going to do a Sega Saturn import variety night. We're going to play a bunch of imports. I don't know the uh, I don't know the theme. I usually do it with theme, but uh, I know I've picked up a, a recent batch of imports, so I think I'm just going to play that, and that's the theme. Recent batch of imports. So that's what I'm going to do. And tomorrow I'm going to go to my local video game store. They got some Saturn games traded in. I think they got some imports there. I mentioned that before on the stream. But uh, if I see anything there of interest, I'll definitely pick it up and I'll share it with everybody. Saturn Collections, all imports have one North American game. Yeah, I have like four or five on that shelf over there. Uh, not really good games either. Maybe like one good game. I think the one good game I have on there is Duke Nukem 3D. And the reason why it's good is it has Death Tank's way. Yeah, so <clears throat> that'll be done tomorrow. So uh, when will I pick up on this game again? Probably next week. Um, I uh, let me put my socials here. These are my socials. I think it's just social. Uh, it's my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter for my stream schedule. Uh, I got a Discord if you want to talk about retro games. Uh, got a group of people in there that uh, like retro. So join the Discord. YouTube's where I stick all my VODs. Uh, so Sunday is usually a day where I post my stream schedule for the week. I have to take a look, see what's go going on next week. I'm supposed to have a pretty busy schedule at work. Uh, so I might not be streaming that often next week. But I'll definitely be streaming on the 30th and the 31st for sure. Because it's like Halloween weekend. But uh, uh, So Sunday I'll let you guys know when I'll be streaming again. Uh, so, um, but next, next week we'll definitely, we'll definitely finish this game by the end of the week, uh, next week for sure. I think we're like halfway through to it, but, uh, yeah, tomorrow, uh, tune in tomorrow, 9.30 PM. I will be doing my Sega Saturn variety stream. I call it the Sega Saturn day. Should be fun. Definitely took, de definitely, definitely check me out if you're interested. And if you're new here, definitely click that follow button and notification bell so you know I go live. So, thank you all for coming out. Thank you, MindScans, NextJR, Game Vampire 13, uh, Hot and Ready. Uh, anything, anybody else that came in? 
uh, yeah, Upside Down Matt came in, Decano 9, Zorak. Thank you all for coming in, Sick at Task, Tentative 2. Region Dragon underscore, thank for the fall, appreciate it. Let me, t yeah, let me take this headband off. All right. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right. Let's see who's online. We go raid. I know we don't have a lot of... We don't have a five... We don't have a party of five. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mudu. I know we don't have a party of five, but I'm going to raid anybody. I'll raid somebody who's... Whoever's still up. Uh, Let's see. Who's up? Who's up? Some... Oh, who is up? Who is up? We could go raid. Working the whole team. Sweet dreams, well. Yep. Uh, huh. Let's see. What are you playing? You still going? All right. Why don't we go say hi to this guy? His name is Slap Artist. He's playing Rule of Rose on PS2. I figure this will be a good transition because we're playing a PS2. Uh, slap artist, slap artist. Did I say that right? He's playing Rule of Rose on PS2. I figured that's a good game to transition to because we're playing PS2, and we'll go say hi to Slap Artist next. He's so one one PS2 game to the other. Flirt's probably not going to show up, so we'll just uh, I'll do the raid message. Raid message would be hashtag raid tomb raid tomb raid tomb raid. That's the raid message, so I'm just going to spam that in his chat as soon as we go in there. All right, so everybody have a good night. Uh, tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m., we'll do a Sega Saturn variety stream night. Should be fun. Everybody have a good one. Peace. Catch you on the flip side.